Okay, so do either of you have any uh, initial thoughts about this, this video? Well, uh, one thing that I think is interesting uh, was the idea of filming trash, which is something that people throw away. So what is it to capture what we discard? And uh, what is the meaning? How does that relate to the YouTube experience? What is it that we discard that we then see or that we then capture? Or what is discarded that is on YouTube? Well, when I saw that, uh, I was wondering, I was thinking that uh, it kind of is a reflection of uh, society um, and uh, that there's a lot of things that uh, could be recycled that are not. And uh, also thought about the fact that um, I know social scientists have sometimes used uh, the um, trash bins to study what people do and so forth. There's a classical study in sociology where someone surveyed uh, people who um, in the Midwest asking their attitudes towards uh, alcohol consumption. And then he uh, went around to their uh, trash cans and saw what they were uh, dumping out and they didn't always uh, match up. So there's a lot of information in there. I also recall that uh, one time uh, Henry Kissinger's uh, trash was uh, examined. People were trying to find out something about that. Well, that sort of reminds me of the current uh, situation with the uh, um, Rupert Murdoch and his uh, enterprises of uh, whether they're, what is private and whether that kind of thing in one's home should be private. A lot of issues that can be telescoped out from something like this. I did think it was a bit long. Uh, we didn't need all of that to get the ideas. Um, yeah, I think you're, that's what I was thinking of too, um, sort of like looking at a trash can as an anthropological study of New York City and how trash in New York City might differ from another, another place. Um, and I think it's also interesting that it's kind of through his project, he's br making the local more um, accessible, I guess, um, by being on YouTube. We're seeing what people throw away in New York here in Claremont. Um, so that was just one thing that I thought of. I think uh, something that struck me as interesting was the uh, music behind the piece because Trash is something that can be abject, it can be disgusting to look at, but for some reason that the music behind the piece doesn't lend itself to the idea that what we're seeing is in any way a disgusting or an abject uh, or visceral type of experience. It's more of a... It's really soothing. Yeah, soothing and all the edits together of all the different ones. Very long jazz type of music. I don't know, what did either of you think about the music? Uh, I was aware of it, but uh, I didn't have any particular uh, uh, sense. I was more on the fo focused on the visual than the auditory. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't didn't have any, anything too profound that I thought about it, but it, I think it did help to make um, make the experience of looking at trash something. Yeah, like you said, it's not. It wasn't disgusting to me, and I think the music had something to do with that. There were, I was just thinking about the technical aspects of that too and the, the decisions were made by the photographer, for example. Uh, I was wondering if there were some subtle messages in there because sometimes the shadows were in different places. Sometimes you could see the foot of the photographer. Uh, I didn't know if there was a subtle pattern that we were supposed to be picking up or, or not. Uh, it did look like um, some of that trash was nicely arranged. I wondered if, he, if uh, that, how representative a sample that uh, portrayal is, and that's an interesting question, because um, if one's making a claim, is this an artist's uh, creation, or is this a uh, portrayal of reality? If it's a portrayal of reality, how much license should the photographer have to, uh, well, first select, and then to arrange the uh, subjects 
it's a question I don't have an answer for, but I think it's a, a you know, I, I'd be interested to know what the artist's uh, claim is, that uh, uh, is this his or is this theirs, something outside that he's simply capturing. Yeah, I think with, that's an excellent point with any type of documentation. Where is, where's the line between uh, bystander and artist in this type of documentation? Yeah, and I think one point that kind of clearly uh, makes that stand out is that there wasn't anything in the trash cans that was like truly disgusting to look at. It was every everything was you know palatable, and it seems like that was um, a conscious decision on his part because I don't think every trash can in New York City looks that that clean and yeah. Okay, well, I guess we're going to wrap it up and move over to our coffee and cookie area. Thanks.